And we're back with Will the Foe and my friend Kyle Crafty. We are playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader for the second time here. Last time we managed to get to the final question and managed to royally fuck it up, so we only ended up leaving with $25,000, sadly. Here we are the second time to see if we can improve upon that previous high score and possibly get a grand prize here. I doubt it. I really do. Been and been and piece of paper. I learnt two more words this time. Ooh, I heard that was great. Good Are you for smarter you. than a fifth grader? Something, something, piece of paper. Piece of paper. Oh, it's really coming together now. Mum spaghetti, arms weak, eyes are heavy, something. Is that what it said? Yeah, if Jeff Foxworthy was Eminem. Oh. oh okay. Get your hood on, Kyle. I'm. You need pants. to be more ghetto. Oh, but I live in the country. Well, I'm not even American, so. <sighs> Alright, let's let's just let's just answer some questions and win some money. It's the intro, Kyle. I can't deprive Jeff Foxworthy of his one moment in the limelight here. He probably hasn't had a good gig for at least twenty years. Yeah, you're probably right. I had to do some math there. I'm like, well, when was that one movie? Oh, yeah. He was in a movie? Yeah, I think so. And then he had that show for a while. That was bad. Was it Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? No, no, it was the Jeff Foxworthy show. He had a show? Yeah, it was really bad. Yeah, I mean, I've only played this game and I already don't like him. How do you get a show? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. Apparently people liked it. We've got the same classmates as last time, so I think once again, we're going to have to pick either the guy with the glasses or the small lady. Which small one would you lady. prefer? Okay, <laughs> small lady it is. Sounds like I'm running a brothel. I know. <laughs> I was going to make the same joke, actually. So, uh, Kyle, which one would you prefer? The uh, small lady or the uh, guy with glasses? You know what? That's a tough choice. But for right now, I'm going to have to go with the small lady. You know, where I come from, we call that a right answer. <laughs> okay. Now, would you prefer first grade health or first grade U.S. geography? I think we should get your one out of the way. Yeah, might as well get some U.S. stuff. Let's mess this up on the beginning question. Yeah, that's a great plan of action. Okay. Jeff Foxworthy just told me that this shouldn't be too hard for you. So... Oh, I feel confident now. Nicole went to a... Oh, uh, Nicole went on a trip to see Mount Rainier National Park. What state did she go to? Mount what? Mount Rainier. Spell it. Rain. I-E-R. I have never heard of that. Well, Alaska, Washington, Idaho, or Montana? Um, I'm gonna guess 100% Montana. Absolute guess. I've never heard of this. I didn't think that Montana was that mountainy, but okay, Kyle, we're going with Montana. We're locking it in. I am so sorry to disappoint you today, Will. <sighs> you really took your time and thought about that, and then you answered it wrong. Oh. Ugh, <laughs> uh, the answer was Washington, Kyle. The answer was Washington. Man, how was I supposed to know that? I've never been there. You have now successfully failed at two out of three of the only questions I've given <laughs> you. Why did I even bring you along? Because I thought I'd get them. Okay, we're moving on to first grade health here. That was depressing, I'm so sorry. <laughs> When getting dressed, <laughs> what do you put on last? A hat. Socks, underwear, shoes, or pants? Hmm. That is an incredibly strange question. I probably put pants on last. I think you'd be socks. I'm pretty sure it's shoes. Oh wait, shoes was a qu shoes was an answer? Yes, it was, Kyle. Oh, and then shoes, definitely. No, it's pants. It's totally pants. Well, you're different than me, so I would do shoes last. Yeah, well, I'm a superhero. Pants. Oh, no, if you're a superhero, it's underpants. Yeah, otherwise known as pants. 
can my underpants go last? If you're Superman. Underwear and underpants and pants are all the same thing in most countries. No. See, pants are like the full thing you put over your underpants. I think you mean trousers. I think we have a language barrier issue here. I think we do too. See, in America, in an America, pants are the trousers then. So the answer here would not be the same pants as Australian pants. Well, you see, Australian pants are trousers, right? Right. But British pants are underwear. Mmm. Yeah. That's not the answer. Well, the answer was shoes, quite obviously, and thankfully I picked that. <laughs> yeah, that was blatantly the answer. Uh, we're going fourth grade world geography because fuck the system. I ain't a part of your system. I do what I want. Yeah. Oh shit, shouldn't have picked this. What'd you do? I assume this is more your knowledge than mine. Keep in well, mind that geography is my worst subject, despite the fact I got 100% in every high school test for it. So. Oh, I'm scared. What country borders Guatemala to the west? Panama, Mexico, Costa Rica, and Honduras. Dude, I have no idea. I don't know, like, where Nicaragua... I mean, I know Central America, I just don't know which ones are which, because I never... I See, I learned that in sixth grade, though. Hmm. Well, apparently you're a pretty dumb sixth grader, Kyle, because they learned this a year before... two years before you. Well, I have autism, so... Yeah, so you don't like hugs. I love hugs. I'm gonna go copy. Because we obviously have no idea. No, we do not. That was that was a very bad question. Thanks, Jeff Foxworthy. You're a jerk. The answer was Mexico. Ah, of course. Okay. I would have said Honduras. Shouldn't have, but that would have been my guess. Um, third grade health. I'm a pretty unhealthy guy, so I would consider myself an authority. No. Okay. Then. Huh. What is the transparent covering on the outside of the eye called? Cornea. Pupil, the cornea, the retina, or the iris? Cornea. Totally. It, I'm pretty sure that's the cornea. Yeah. That's, yeah. No. no, no <laughs> definitely. It's the rods and cones. That's what it was. That's the transparent covering. Are you just kind of dumbfounded by that stupid answer? Or Sorry, what? they they were insulting me, so I thought I got it wrong, but I got it right. <laughs> what did I was, they say? I was very confused. They were like, oh, I bet lunch wasn't your favorite subject, was it? I'm like, well, no, that's that's good. And then then Logan was like, well, your, your gut answer is usually the right one. I'm like, what's this, what does this mean? That doesn't make any sense. Is this good or bad? Oh, shit, Jeff Foxworthy just appeared in the class. Standing next oh. to the small children. He's never done that, from what I can tell. He's a magical man. I want to pick it's... Jeff Jeff Foxworthy. He comes with all the answers on, written on cards. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to pick the small child with glasses again. Uh, Aw. Should have picked Foxworthy. Okay. Second grade art or second grade health? Man, these are some weird categories. I'm going to go with art. People learn art, that's not weird. Well, these are weird ones to have trivia questions over. Oh, okay. Pretty easy. What do you call the oval shaped tool that artists use to hold their paints? An... A plate? A container? No, I had, I had a, a what, Kyle? I, I literally had that in the tip of my tongue and I knew the word until you had finished it. Um, Okay, what were the answers? Well, the answer was palette, and I've already answered there it about it ten seconds ago, but... <laughs> I've also never wow. seen an oval-shaped palette before. No, it's always been like an obscure, kind of goofy, weird, spaceship yeah. boomerang-esque shape. Yeah, it's a U-shape, because it has a spot for your arm to rest in. Right. It's an oval arm. shape is just going against ergonomics. It really is. Anyway, we're going second grade health now. I can't remember palette. Starches and sugar are a type of what nutrient? Carbohydrate. Fat? Well, 
Good job, Kyle. I didn't even get to read them out. Look what you're doing. <laughs> you're ruining the whole system here. Just completely messing with the flow of things, but it's carbohydrate. It is indeed carbohydrate. I know because my autism requires that I eat a lot of carbohydrates. My stomach requires that I eat a lot of carbohydrates, so... Yeah, that would do it. I think I'm probably worse off, to be honest. What? Okay, well, whatever. And I don't like hugs. But I love hugs. <laughs> Third grade social studies. I can do this. I hope. Oh, well... <laughs> Third grade social studies, uh, yeah, you mean third grade US social studies, thank oh, you very much. of course. Uh, don't put that on the question, but whatever. What former US president is featured on the one dollar bill, Kyle? Oh, that's Benjamin Franklin. No, it's, uh, George Washington. Is it? I yeah. honestly don't know. Yeah, it's George Washington. Are you sure, Kyle? Yeah, I'm positive! It's George Washington! I'm looking at one right now! Do you want me to get it out of my wallet? Hold on. Yeah, Do you want right to here. lock it in, Kyle? George Washington, yeah, lock that in. Are you sure you want me to lock it in? Yeah, I'm positive! It's locked in, Kyle. Alright, let's do this. It's George Washington. What do we win? But that looks like the right answer. We're up to 50000 oh, $100,000 here. Ooh, was that the Hank Hill impersonation, by the way? It's my... Probably quite bad Jeff Foxworthy. It was incredibly bad. <laughs> so bad. Give me a break here. He's saying it like three seconds before I do. Oh. I don't exactly have time to practice. No, and no. I'm not American and I'm not a dick. Well, you are a dick. Yeah, but I'm not a dick with a moustache, so... Yet. That is true. Hopefully one day. Yeah. Fourth grade math. I pass. Considering this killed us last time, I hope we can do slightly better. True or false, all polyhedrons are either pyramids or prisms. Um... <laughs> false? <laughs> because? Shit. What? I'm gonna go maybe peak here, just so that I could copy his answer. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, it's only 50-50, but still. I guess it's prism. But, I don't know, man. Uh, well... That's false. I don't know, man. True? It, he said false, so I'm going with false here. Alright. Indeed, it was false. Thank you very oh. much, uh, Edward, or whoever you are at this point. I, I would've gotten that one wrong for us. Okay. Physical education or physical science? We're up to the fifth grade questions here now. Oh. I'm fifth gonna go with grade... Science. Uh, I picked education. Fuck you, Kyle. I do what I want. Oh, okay. Oh. How many players from each team are on the field in a soccer game? Now, Kyle, can you please confirm what soccer is? Football. Football. Okay, that should be 11 then. I would know. I would not know. You would know. I wouldn't. It's either 10 or 11. Dude, One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I believe there's ten plus a goalie. But Dude, I, could, I don't know. I, I don't know soccer. either. I I'm trying to remember when I'm trying to remember when I was like, I don't know, ten years old and I played FIFA or something on the PlayStation. I'm trying to count like the formation. Well, I played it once in physical education class and I royally fucked up my knee, so I try not to think about football. I did get the right answer. Thank you very much, Jeff. I could kiss that moustache of yours. Why would you want to do that? Uh, well, I don't want to touch his lips. Oh, yeah, that would... That'd that be would, gay. That would. That'd be gay, Kyle. God. Why not? It's so much fun. Okay, we're on to physical science. Oh, it's depressing because, you know, football is a major sport over here. Yeah, that's why I figured you'd get that easily. But you could also get the physical science one a lot easier than I could, too. On what scale does all molecular motion stop at negative 273 degrees? Kelvin? Well, the problem with this is that Kelvin isn't measured in degrees because it's an absolute scale. Right. So it's got to be Celsius because it's not Fahrenheit, I'm pretty sure. And I, I don't, don't even know what Rankine is. 
If it's Kelvin, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm guessing Kelvin regardless. Yeah, I want to say Kelvin, but it's it's an absolute scale. Well, at least that's what I learned in physics in year 12 when I did it at university level. Yeah, well, they're not going to teach children that Kelvin's not going to be in degrees. Yeah, but it's not. At least that's what I was taught. Right, in 12th grade. Yeah, but since when do they teach them about Kelvin in primary school anyway? I learned of Kelvin in primary school, but I didn't learn anything more than, hey, this is another form of temperature. Okay, Kyle. Are we going with Kelvin? I think we should. Okay. We've locked it in then. Did we lose? I hate you so much, Kyle. Did we lose? The answer is Celsius, you fuckwit. What? You're the one that uses cal uh, centigrade, man. I'm fucking Fahrenheit all the way. Freedom degrees! Yeah! No. <laughs> I'm the one who said it was Celsius. <laughs> ah. You agreed. You're, you're in charge of blocking in the answers. You, you prescribed me. You can override me at any minute if you feel it would benefit. Man, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> oh. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh, man. <sighs> oh, well, I'm sorry, I screwed us up again. That is another <laughs> failure on the final question there. Crap, and the first one, too. Yeah, both of which you have My. been no help with. I have benefited... Only a little bit today. <laughs> yeah, you've answered like two questions for me. And that was Delaware and what? Money. What is money. your $1 bill? That's right. I mean, if you asked that question in Australia and you said who was on the $1 bill, we'd be like, uh, fuck off, we don't have a $1 bill. Secondly, nobody knows anyone on our money. Why not? Because we don't care. Canada has Darwin on some of their money. I think we might have Darwin on one of our... Coins? I, I don't know. I, nobody looks at money. You just give it to people. You just get, spend it, yeah. Yeah, you just get cookies and stuff and then look no, at that. Here, here we just kind of like stare at it and kind of like masturbate to it because it, it runs our world, man. Yeah, well, we do that because we have the coin on our queens and she's hot, so. <laughs> Did I just say we have the coin on our queens? Uh, we have the queen on our coins. <laughs> I'm Will the Foe. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then like it down below. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you all later. Bye. Can't believe I said coin on our queens. <laughs>